Oh, hurry, get the net. Oh my gosh, guys. This is a mess. Here she comes, here she's coming up, coming up, get ready. Oh my god, oh my god, it's a giant. Keep it on. Keep it I know, on. I'm keeping it on. I'm keeping it on. Oh my god, it's a giant fish. It's a giant. Alrighty, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Alright, oh my god, get it in there. Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lure. Coming off of Zepco 33 Out on the bass boat making beer cans float Doing some trespassing Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules Welcome to Retro Bassin Welcome to Retro Bass, and we are just getting on the water on Lake Travis this morning. Uh, it is chilly, as you can tell. I've got my rayon jacket on. Also have my fishing bud Brandon in the back. He is enjoying a little Texas taco this morning. Mm, nothing like it. A lesson I learned is you got to get Brandon kind of with his hands full early, otherwise he like starts catching fish when I'm getting the camera set up. So that was a kind of part of my plan today was to get him some some egg tacos and. It's working. Uh, it's working. <laughs> And I'm actually fishing first, which is uh, unusual on that the old retro bassin first, show. <laughs> a lot of times we get on the water, we have a specific lure or lures that we want to feature. Uh, but today is all about kind of trying to catch fish. There have been a ton of fish up shallow, and I've got a variety of different baits that I think will work. Uh, we've got some swim baits, which are uh, old school for me at least, and I'll kind of tell the story about these. Got some crankbait, some topwaters, some soft plastics. I think these fish are hiding in the grass. I know these fish are hiding in the grass. It's a matter of uh, if we can catch them or not. <laughs> How's that taco? <laughs> I mean, that's just how it goes, right? What's that? Oh, 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 <laughs> uh, somebody whacked me. I feel like we're good for popping a fish early. I feel, I feel like that first fish usually comes in the first half an hour for us or two. And then we're like, oh, it's going to be a day. And then, uh, then you hit a bit of a lull, but I'll say, but now I definitely had a nice little hit. Nice little hit. A little deeper, Alan. So a little status update here, guys. So we kind of thought it was going to be a hot morning. Had a bite like I think the first cast, and uh, we have not yet boated a fish. Gotten a few hits on a swim bait, and um, I don't think any takers on the crank. We found a nice little bank here. Uh, it's been a little bit choppy, so that's kind of good. There's some wind kind of blowing into this, so hopefully there are some bass up shallow. I don't love the water color here, so we'll see if that affects anything. We're going to work this little bank with swim baits and cranks even a little banjo minnow and hopefully get a fish or two. Panic hadn't set in yet, but... <laughs> Come on, fish. 18 feet. Oh, let's go. Oh, I didn't bring my Guggen shit. <laughs> I can't. Exactly. Yes. I can't. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't think about it. So Brandon's fishing two rods now. <laughs> Casting a swim bait and you're trolling the banjo minnow, huh? <laughs> I don't think that's uh, BASS regulation, but uh, you know. What, this little guy? <laughs> <laughs> you look like some sort of half assed crappie fisherman back there. <laughs> oh, this is new school. <laughs> new old school. Yeah, I got a feeling the unmanned rod has about as good of a shot as we do occasionally to fish at the moment. So, <laughs> so I'm actually going to switch up colors. I'm not getting any hits on the sort of translucent one that I was fishing. And all of the banjo minnow fish this week came on sort of a green baby bass color. So I'm going to break out this. The I think this is baby bass color. Bass magic. This is an OG pack from back in the day. Back when Bass Tricks first came out, I just could not get a hold of them, but I did find these at the local Bass Pro Shops. And even these were hard to find. They just did not stay on the uh, the peg too long. 
so I stocked up on so many that I still have some today. <laughs> and then Chris, if that doesn't work, it's color wheel time. It is color wheel time. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that guy. Woo. Now the way I rig these, first thing I'll do is take the hook point and I'll sort of run through the nose kind of where I want to come out around the chin. And that sort of just gives me a guide for later. From there, I'll pop into the chin and out the nose like that. And then I'll line this up. And what I like about this baby bass color is you can actually even tell what line you want to go through on it. And the key is to go straight from the bottom to the top, which is actually harder than it looks. This is probably the hardest maneuver of the whole rigging process. And if you screw this one up, you just have a bait that doesn't swim right. There we go. There's a little lake east of town, headed that way, hammered down. The water calls on me from time to time. The phone turned off, music cranked, put the boat in the lake. Start her up, I know I'll be alright. Here's to ripping lips, not breaking tips or falling out of the boat. Dragging line and doing fine, making some beer cans float. Man, we are working this juicy little pocket and not a fish in the boat. We had a couple followers, but not even followers that necessarily would have wanted to catch. Nothing, nothing uh, bigger than a pound. Oh, there was something. Man, just cannot figure it out today. You work the pocket, I'll work the point. Oh, got one. <laughs> Finally, a fish committed to the swim bait. I think the old school gods were uh, smiling on us. Brandon finally fished at old school. I could hear that reel behind him. Mm, <laughs> nice. There we go. Woo, pretty. All right. First bass of the day. And it's like a few hours into the day as well. <laughs> Well, the big fish aren't biting today, but at least something's biting. I've definitely had a number of Speak pecs. For yourself, <laughs> definitely had some pecs from some little fish. It's been hard to get a hook in them as of yet, but this is uh, little bass number two on the old swim bait. <laughs> Son of a gun. Ow, he's biting me. Do that. Hi, right, buddy. Got one? Oh, you do have oh. one! Oh! Oh! That was a nice fish. Brandon had a nice fish. Probably had an eight pounder. Oh. That's probably a donkey. If that was a fish, it was a big ass fish. Come in behind you. Bring it. Let's go. This little spot's gonna get us a bite. Look at this. This kind of is interesting, huh? I tucked away in here. Weird little little thing. No, it, oh, come on. Oh, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, that's oh, a giant. Oh, that's a giant. Oh, but get the net, get the net, get the net, get the net. Go oh, hurry, get the net. Oh my gosh, guys, this is a mess. Here she comes, here she's coming up, coming up, get ready. Oh my God, oh my God, it's a giant. Keep it on. Keep it on. I know, I'm gonna keep it on. I'm keep it on. Oh my God, it's a giant fish, it's a giant. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, oh my God, get it in there. Oh my God. Oh my gosh! Oh my Ooh, gosh! Let's go! <laughs> Retro bassin, kicking some ass. A beaut! Oh my! We'll see. God! I didn't bring my scale. Oh, there's a scale in there underneath the thing. <gasps> bassin buds. 
<laughs> Would you look at that bass? Oh my goodness, that is, honestly, that's a PB for me. That is the biggest bass I have ever caught. Where's that scale? Oh, it is, it's, no, it's underneath the steering wheel, but. Okay. Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Before we got him to the net, I had visions of the nightmares that were gonna come in the weeks to come um, for losing him. Thank God we didn't. Okay. That's the one. So the only scale I've got on the boat is this old school scale. So um, let's do our best to weigh him and see what he weighs. <laughs> what do you think he is? Seven. It's a seven, huh? No. So what side is... Uh, honestly? What does that say? That's a seven. That is a seven. <laughs> Uh, look at that bass. That is a gorgeous bass. Let's get her in real quick uh, before too, too long, but oh my God. Quick, Wild. Yeah, actually, please, thank you. Uh, oh, look at that fish. Wow, I'm still shaking. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we are behind a little marina here and the, our weed pattern kind of dried up for the day. And honestly, the fish we're getting in there were pretty small, but we found a couple of these little just random dark patches off these rocky banks. Honestly, you get up on them and it's just sort of darker rocks. But we snuck in behind this marina and I found a spot that I thought was gonna be pretty good. Oh my God. The second that fish hit, I knew it was an absolute monster. And I, uh, I'm i still shaking. <sighs> and I had visions of just the nightmares that would ensue if I'd lost that fish. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. It was a seven. Yeah, that is uh, definitely the biggest bass on the old Retro Bassin channel. Um, here we are out fishing with uh, old school <laughs> pistol grip rods, monofilament. Uh, no live scope on the boat. No! <laughs> and rayon jackets. Good oh, work! My. Holy sh... <laughs> Son! That was a nice what fish. What a great catch. Oh my god! I still can't fish yet. I'm just... I'm too, uh... <laughs> just... wow. Okay, so, uh, real quick for the folks who say that this bait is not old school, so I will tell you a little bit about my history with this, the old Bass Magic. When this thing first came out, it was all about bass tricks, and those things were hot, 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 and you just couldn't get them. But the bass pro shops would occasionally have these, and these things would fly off the shelf too. And even back then, I forget what year they came out with them, they were like 10 bucks a pack. So I used to buy these, and this was my go-to pate back in Maryland, fishing the tidal Potomac River with these just massive grass flats. It is, uh, it's an old school bait for me, even though they still do sell this thing at Bass Pro Shops. But I've always had an affection for this, and actually I've never even thrown the, um, I guess, on-brand Bass Tricks. Uh, but to me, oh my gosh, there's always been something magical about this little bait. Um, certainly today. Certainly today. <laughs> I feel like I probably should talk about the combo that I caught that fish on, after all. That was my PB. So this is an Abu Garcia 5500C old school bait casting reel. It's so old school, there's a, a push button, not a thumb button. And this rod is actually kind of a special one too. So my buddy Dave, his, uh, he introduced me to his dad a year or two ago, who's uh, an old school bass fisherman, and he brought a bunch of tackle. We actually did a, a walkthrough of his tackle box. He actually gifted me some old school rods, and this is one of the ones he gave me. It's kind of even worn out, but it's a Shakespeare graphite rod of some sort. It says Maglite on it, and it's uh, about as OG as it gets with a pretty glorious handle. So that was the combo that we caught it on. I think I've got a uh, 15 pound, or yeah, it's 15 pound mono, and a little swim bait. <laughs> the old pistol grip. Oh my goodness. I also appreciate for the fact that the only scale we've got is this. It's the old... Uh, it's a retro scale. 
It's actually called the Zebco D Liar, <laughs> which is hilarious. Retro scaling. <laughs> it has a little spring in it, but yeah, she um she came down to thought that was a seven, but after 30 years, the paint rubbed off. <laughs> Still a giant, giant fish. Um, that's pretty wild. I think, I'm gonna go, I, I think I'm gonna go with seven. Yeah, forget that. We're just gonna go with seven. Drop a comment if you think it was smaller and I'll d delete it. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bastards.